Blocks CAD skills. Using loops, part two. Making a series of objects in a circle. In BlocksCAD, you can use loops and rotation to create a series of objects in a circle or a ring. Let's review what happens when you rotate a shape that isn't at the origin. As you see, we've set up our workspace so that a cylinder with a radius of 4 has been translated 30 millimeters on the X axis. This object is also nested inside of a rotate block, but for now, we have not assigned any values to those x, y, or z coordinates. Watch what happens as we rotate this shape around the z-axis. By 30, 60, 90, you can see that the cylinder rotates around the z-axis in a big circle. If we keep going, 180, 270, we get back to where we started. To make these rotations easier, we can use a loop. Get a count with block from the loop menu tab and nest the translated cylinder, along with the rotation block, inside the count with block, like this. We're going to use the loop variable i to control how far we rotate around the z-axis, which means that instead of using this fixed number, we'll use a variable. So let's delete the current z value and bring out our loop variable i and snap that into place as the new z value. To understand which values can be passed to the z axis using the i variable, let's look at the range of the loop block variable above. To keep the first instance of the cylinder from rotating, we'll assign the lower range to zero. That way the first cylinder won't rotate at all. Since we want to go all the way around the circle, we'll set the higher range to 359. Finally, instead of counting by ones, or by one degree, which would cause the loop to run 360 times and draw 360 cylinders, let's put a cylinder at every 30 degrees. Render, and we have a ring of cylinders placed and rotated by 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, etc. around the whole circle. This is what our loop variable did. It started at 0 and counted by 30. We can change how many objects are in this ring by changing what we count by. If we count by 45 degrees and render, now we have cylinders at 0, 45, 90, 135, 180, etc. for a total of 8 evenly spaced cylinders. If we count by 90 degrees, we have a total of 4 cylinders. If we count by 15 degrees, we'd have a total of 24 cylinders. Not surprisingly, that's twice the number of cylinders as when we counted by 30. Not all numbers will give us evenly spaced cylinders around the circle. For example, if we make our loop and count by 50 degrees, we end up with two cylinders stuck together at the end. If your project requires a specific number of cylinders in a ring, you can figure that out by dividing 360 by the number of cylinders you need. For example, if you needed a circle with five evenly spaced cylinders, that would be 360 divided by 5. So we'd count by 72. That gives us 5 perfectly spaced cylinders. If we want a circle with 9 cylinders, that would be 360 divided by 9. Change the loop to count by 40, and now you get 9 equally spaced cylinders. To make your ring look like a clock, we'd need 12 evenly spaced objects. So that would be 360 divided by 12. So we'd rotate every 30 degrees. You don't have to make a full circle. If we change our index variable to count up only to 180, we'll get half a circle, like this. As you can see in this example, with only four blocks and a little creative thinking, using loops in BlocksCAD lets you create a variety of designs and projects 
just by changing a few simple values. You can watch this skills video again, or to practice what you've just learned, launch BlocksCAD and start building.